365 days, 365 messages God has in store for you in each day. Great is our God, written by Fernando Savala. Come, join us. Let's see what God has in store for you. Hello, beloved. Today is Friday, May 6, 2022. We're so glad that you have taken some time for today's devotional. Today's devotional is titled, He Knows What It Feels Like. Let us have a word of prayer. Dear Lord, thank you because you understand us. Help us to listen closely to the message that you have in store for us today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our scripture reading for today is taken from the book of Psalms, chapter 38, verse 18. And it says, The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart and save such as have a contrite spirit. Do you ever find that just when you want to rest, there is one interruption after another? Scripture records a similar event experienced by the Lord and his disciples. The day had been so hectic that they hadn't even had time to eat. Then Jesus told them to seek a deserted place to rest. That's how they came to board a boat and got to a chosen site. But a crowd was waiting for them there. In other words, goodbye, Russ. How did the Lord react to all this? The scriptures say that seeing the great multitude, he was moved with compassion for them because they were like sheep, not having a shepherd. So he began to teach them many things. This is the kind of savior you and I have, a compassionate and merciful savior who, between his well-being and that of his children, always prefers to put the need of his children first. A savior who, because he is like his brethren, according to Hebrews chapter 2 verse 17, without sin, fully understands the suffering of each of his children. He knows what causes us pain and always does something to alleviate it. This attribute of our Lord is illustrated well by Max Lucado in his book, In the Eye of the Storm, with the story of a child who went to a pet shop to buy a puppy. After making his selection, he asked the seller about the price of the particular breed of puppies and promised to return to buy it. Within a few days, he returned, paid the price, and went looking for his pet, a puppy with a limp. My little friend said the salesman, trying to dissuade him, that puppy won't be able to play with you because he has a limb. Thank you, the boy replied, but it's just the pet I was looking for. And with those words, he headed towards the exit of the store. The salesman was about to say something else to him when he observed something that instantly silenced him. The child also had a limp. Why his interest in that puppy? Because the child knew. Lucado writes, what it feels like, what it feels like when you are ignored, rejected, or put aside because you have a physical defect. Here's something to remember today. If right now, suffering is consuming your body or your heart, Jesus knows how you feel and will in good time do something to alleviate it. As we meditate in these words, let us close with a prayer. Thank you, Jesus, for being close to the brokenhearted and for saving those with crushed spirits. Above all, thank you because in order to save us, you have suffered the cruel punishment we deserve. Amen. We pray that today's devotional has been a blessing to you. May God's love embrace you and may his presence be with you throughout this day. Have a blessed day. We'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.